The Max Gaming coming back at you live from Mac Gaming Studios in California with another episode of Space Astronomy 2. I am the Mac Father along with Lil Mac 96 here. Bonsai 28. What is up, the people of the internet? Hope everyone's well. We're doing fine. Let's go, let's go, let's start by going through the portal. Shoo. So we went back to the, or actually last episode we did some of the compressors and then some of the the circuit fabricators. And there's something that I want to show on that, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Today is all about rocket fuel. Mm -hmm. Yes. We need fuel so we can go places and do things. What? Oh, that one's missing one. So what we, uh, Bonsai had set up here a long time ago was... Uh, a hole filled for canola with a uh, paper mattock inside a farmer from Ender.io. And that paper mattock is unbreakable. Unbreakable, yeah. So, and then he's, I think these are the growth accelerators for mystical ag agriculture, right? Yes. Yes, those are. Those are the tier two ones. So, yeah, exactly. So what this will do, uh, it's controlled by this redstone right now. But uh, if Lil Mac goes inside on the RF tool screen and flips it on, this will start harvesting. So you need the canola. The canola. We need the canola. Yes. We need this. Because this is what we're going to turn the rocket fuel into, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're a sustainable uh, space organization. Going to space with plants instead of Oil. the bones of dead dinosaurs. Yeah, we're all about the green. Green power, baby. We want to... Well, I don't know. Oh, look, see? Floating it's harvesting right now. dinosaurs is how I want to... It's usually what I want to do. What? Exploding dead dinosaurs. All right, let's kill that's Ken. Te that's technically what... what uh, fuel You're not going to space with us. You're not part of the space program. If you, if you think about it, plastic dinosaurs that are made of petroleum-based plastics are made out of dead dinosaurs. Yeah. Well, technically, it's phytoplankton, but still. What? All right, I don't know anything that they're talking about. But, uh, so let's go back over... Oh, man, this thing closed off already. Ah. Let's go to the lava base. How is the old base doing? She's not doing bad, right? Nah. Still got stuff and things here. We haven't taken everything out of here. But, uh, oh, my frame's a little fra a little framey, a little framey. So we'll let that harvest. I think we have a lot of canola in the system already, don't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Canola? Full, full drawer. Oh, we do. 106,000. Oh, uh, just a little bit. Yeah, that's not much. So over in the new base, the space base, yes. we had built a, uh, what do we want to call that? A workshop? A space workshop? Um, I think so. Yeah, well, that's what I'm calling it. The space workshop. Ooh, a little lag. And um, this is where we put all the compressors and the circuit fabricators. Yes. And last time, we did talk really about the circuit. Wow, what is going on right now? Oh, there we go. Thank you. Whew, that was bad. We well, talked a little bit about circuit fabricators uh, on the floor there, but one thing I want to let you know is I changed up the recipe for it. We I made it one redstone torch equals three basic wafers, and that's because each one of these machines are all continuously getting fed diamonds, silicone, and redstone. So the last factor is the redstone torch, or in this one above, is the redstone repeater. And those are being, uh, all the other elements are going in here to this chest with exporters. So all that stuff's going in the machines already, and all you have to add is the last element. So that's how we did the, the, the processing on those. And there's a bunch of other different wafers. Did you know that, Lil Mac? Oh, yes. Technically, yes. So that's why we built the extra machines, and we'll hook those up when we get up to it. Uh, and all the compressed uh, stuff, too. When we have all the different elements from the uh, from outer space, so today is all about fuel. Okay, so let's get right to it. This is the system we're going to use to create the fuel. So what we have here is a canola press, 
with power with the RX side on the side and it's going to export canola oil I think it's canola oil right yes it's canola oil into these fermenting bar barrels uh -huh. and then from the canola oil side it's going to put that into regular oil yes and then we're going to export that oil into these refineries from uh, Galacticraft. So the oil will go on this side, and on the output, we'll be, have a fuel tank. Yes, yes. Which all the fuel will go into here. Yes, and I did yep. this a little bit already. Yeah, we figure out the ratio is one press to four barrels to five refineries. So one press will take care of this whole thing. So as soon as I export it, I have an exporter here, and I say, uh, let's export canola. You can see the canola start to go in here. All that fluid starts to feed into these ferment fermenting barrels. Fermenting, they're fermenting. Mm -hmm. And all that oil starts going into these refineries. Yeah. Okay, and this will all, like, I mean, the, the ratio will work out where these will all be full, these will all be full off that one little press. Yeah. Look at Bonsai standing on the, on the diamond chest like a boss. What? So that's what we're going to build, but we're going to make it just a little bit bigger. I think we're going to make our system just a little bit bigger because this runs a little, it's you know. It's a little slow. You can see it picking, you know, just a couple ticks at a time, 570, 584, 6, you know. It, it fills up okay, not bad. If you had a setup like this, this is all you would need. Yeah, just but leave it on the server for a day and it would have enough fuel. You would have more than enough fuel. I don't know how much fuel the rockets actually take when you get to the bigger tiers. So we're we're gonna we're gonna go extreme size, bonsai size. Yes. So let's lay out that pattern and we'll cut here, lay it out, and we'll be right back. BRB And we're back. And all I see is little Max little head. All right, so this is the setup that we came up to. Remember, it's one canola press, the four fermenting barrels, and five refineries. But we extreme sized it, and all these are all refineries. The only difference is we had to turn this set so the exports were facing each other. Importing oil on that side, exporting fuel on this side. Importing oil on these sides, exporting on this side and this side so that's all so we just turned it it's the same setup that we did over there yeah and we had to do a little bit of weird stuff with the uh, conduits trying to get the four barrels uh per each or yeah yeah believe it or not each system is independent of each other mm -hmm. until it comes out into this so what we're going to do there let me grab that barrel real fast we're going to actually hook this up to a storage monitor. Uh, let me get that. Let me get back. I have to put one pipe on, one piece of cable left. Yep. So if I run back here, we'll stick this, this, the barrel here. That's importing into it, and that's a storage bus. So that's going to be on our system. We can export that anywhere. So the only there's only one little cable spot left to connect. And I think the system should be a go. Yep, up here. There it goes. And we're starting to get, yeah, we're starting to get that in there. These don't need speed in it, I don't think. These ones, no. No, so we're, we're okay. starting to get it through. So, are we getting any oil yet? Yep, we're getting fuel. Are we? Is it a lot faster than the other one? Uh, Yeah, it's about 10 times faster. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's a lot faster. See, that's what we wanted. Actually, it's about five times faster, not ten times. My bad. <laughs> we only did five machines. That's a crazy setup. So we're going to make this look all pretty. And maybe encase it in glass somehow. I don't know. Yeah, we'll figure out something. We'll, we'll figure out how to cover this up. What's our next steps, Lil Mac? Can we go yet? Nope, we need... Well, do you want to survive out there? Yeah. Well, we need oxygen then, don't we? Yeah, you know what I made the other day? What? Let me see. Uh, is it thermal? Ah, thermal. Yeah, like thermal watch armor. this. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it the bonsai. I need one of those. Let's make one of these. 
See, they use this uh, thermal cloth, which is just uh, wool around redstone, which is kind of funny. So he's got pants. He needs a, uh, what do they, they call these helmets? It's not a helmet, but it's a patent a helm. helm. And then the little booties. Mm -hmm. I want to see what I want to see what these look like. Oh, got to turn off my magnet. So we got booties, pants, chest plate thing, and helm. It looks like pajamas or something. Oh, check it out! Watch, ready? Come on. What? He's all shiny. Oh my god, he looks like a criminal, like a green and red criminal. Why are you guys shiny like that? Because we have the thermal armor on. That's crazy looking. Fancy pajamas. So there's other things too. There's a. Uh, what else do we need? There's like a uh, oxygen, right? Or maybe if I put Galacticraft in here. Yeah, at Galacticraft. So there's like. Uh, Parachutes. Yep, we need parachutes. Here's a parachute for someone. Um, do you need this auction? No, you need this auction gear right here. We'll throw that auction gear down. I don't know how that's even made. What else do we need? There's some. Uh, oh, you need the uh, long range or the frequency module. Frequency module. Is that for I, communication? Yep, I have three of those. That I'm making for you guys. Oh, you're making three? I only made one. I'll get my stuff later. There it is. Auction gear. Uh. I want to fill up stuff too. You need two oxygen tanks, a parachute. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't need this top piece. That's later on, I believe. But that uh, that should be it. Once you put all that stuff on, do you look fancy? Do you have a little... No, I put it all on. Oh. oh, look at his back. Oh, see, look at... Look, look. Lomac, he's got a little radar dish on top of his head. <laughs> oh, you got auction tanks, too. They stick to your cape. Oh, I can see the little... See, I have... Yeah, uh, I can see little places off. where the tanks will be connected. Mm-hmm. Ah. So I actually have two full oxygen tanks. Oh, are you breathing right now? Uh, technically, Who yes. gave you space stuff? If I do need a parachute, so I will get a parachute. All right, I think that's it for us today. I hope you enjoyed the, the quick little episode on the rocket fuel part. Uh, next stage is just filling those tanks, I think, Can We have to have, have a way to fill those tanks. Auction compressor? Yep, I think so. Oh, man. This, I think that's it. That was this, a really quick episode. Yeah, I know. This uh, this glowy part, man, it's going to have to have to get used to that. Wait. Let me. You have a flag too? Did you just plant our flag? What is that? I planted my flag. What does it have to be your flag? We should bury him up on the moon and not let him come out. No. Oh, there's Bonsai. He's got a flag too. Is that Just let go of right click and it'll plant. I just stole it. He's holding our flag. See, it's our flag to Bonsai. Are you guys French? It's white. Yeah, you surrender. You <laughs> I don't know how to make a flag. I haven't done that yet. All right. Next time, we're doing an auction setup, and then we can't be stopped. We're going to the moon. Or to space. I think to the moon. Uh, did you just hit me with a flag? Yes, I'm hitting you with a flag. All right. So let me say goodbye. <laughs> make sure to like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, and hit the subscribe button. Make sure you're telling your friends about us. Leave us a comment, please. Let us know how we're doing. The Max Gain, signing off. Peace out. Catch you guys later.